Stencil number two. Rolling. Sound. Action. So this is another lesson on stenciling using stencils in both positive and negative ways. Um, so we're going to start with a, a dry surface that has some layers of cold wax and some textures already on it. Um, and then we're going to see what happens with a stencil. So here's a stencil with a figure cut into it. It's just a piece of paper that I cut that figure into. And then I'm going to take some cold wax in green and I'm going to push that into the space of the stencil. And then I'm going to pull it off a little bit with the squeegee so that it's not too thick. And then I'm going to lift it up. And you can see that in some places it's still a little thick. So I could pull some of it off with the squeegee, but that would change a little bit the shape of it. Or I could take a rag and pat it, and that would pat it down a little bit more. So that's a positive stencil. The figure is there. And then I could show you how to do a negative stencil. So take a different color, some of this off. I'm going to take some blue. And then I could take the inside cut from the same cut and put it down. And then I can put the paint outside it. And take off extra from there. And then I can pull that off. And there's a figure in the negative. And sometimes I have to clean that one up a little bit. And this one also, if there's like lumps, this one can also be patted down. And then if you want to, you can blend out the surrounding. And then you could take some wax paper from it up. And put it over and then roll it. Pull that off, and that'll leave a little texture in your um, in your background. But then, since you've got the figure now on your wax paper, you could put it on somewhere else and roll it on. Let's see if this works. And then you get kind of a suggested figure there. And then, you could take another stencil. So here's a figure going the opposite direction. So I could put it on. And take another color. And push that into the stencil. And then with the, before I pick it up, if I think it might be a little too thick, I can take the, 
the rag and push it, pat it off and push it around and kind of get it even on there. And then when you pull it up, it's really strong on, in the front, but as you keep working, it'll start to go back. So we could put now a negative one on. And this color is not too different than the color in the background on this side, but it's a little bit more different on this side. So you could begin to get a little change. And then that one, since it's wet, this one's arm is going to disappear. If it was dry, its arm would stay there more. This guy's kneeling, so it's to be lower down. And then he's just kind of suggested, or she, or they. And then now I've disappeared his head, but I could also use this stencil, bring it back on here where the other one was, and scratch out that headspace. To suggest it there and here. And with these scratches, you'll get down to whatever colors were on your original um, layer. Let's see what that does. So then, so now you have a, a scratched out figure and some positive figures and some negative figures and now we can push this this one back a little bit because it still seems a little bit too strong and push it back even more with the rag. Yeah, and so then, and you could keep going. You could make a whole like uh, layers and layers of figures or other other stencils in it. That's good. And cut. <laughs>